All right, Jose Monkey, where am I? You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. This video did not have many clues, and I made a couple of wrong assumptions at first that had me looking in the wrong places, but I managed to find it eventually. So what can we see? This video shows us what appears to be a park near a beach. We can see these gazebos here, and we've also got what looks like a large body of water off in the distance. I also noticed a tower or pylon of some kind that looked like it could be actually in the water, which surprised me a little bit, but uh, I made a note of it. I noted the shape of this tree here and the fact that you were standing close to this lamppost. And as the camera turns, we can see the sky and we can see that a sunset either just happened or is happening right now. I think it's a sunset and not a sunrise because as the camera continues to turn, there's way too much activity in this parking lot for it to be a sunrise. Unfortunately, I didn't catch a view of any clear license plates in this parking lot. I did see these windshield stickers on this one car, but I couldn't really make out what they were. Okay, so the sunset threw me for a loop because that tells us that that direction is west. Based on the general look of this place, I was thinking it was probably like southeast or southern United States, but I was thinking that meant that we were looking at the Atlantic Ocean or maybe the Gulf of Mexico. But the direction of the sunset here suggests that the water is to the north. That wouldn't make any sense for those two bodies of water, but I filed that information away and kept looking for more clues. Okay, funny side note here, it did not get me anywhere, but I tried looking at this car that we see with the purple lights, and I've been tagged in enough car videos to know that there are lots of people who like to take pictures and videos of their cars and put them on TikTok and Instagram and all over social media. And I was thinking that this might be the kind of car that you would see on an Instagram account. So I took a screenshot and tried to do a Google Lens search to see if maybe this car appeared on Instagram or something and I could figure out where the person who owned the car was posting from and maybe that would get me to this place. And that ended up not panning out, but I'm convinced that that is a legit strategy and I plan to use it in the future if I see an opportunity. Okay, like I said, I did not have too many clues here, but I thought that maybe I could do a reverse image search on the gazebo. And I got results for similar looking gazebos all over the place. Dallas, Texas, Davie, Florida, Vandal Heights, Minnesota, Memphis, Tennessee, Tracy, California, just all over the place. I checked several of them, prioritizing the ones that were near the coast, but I kept thinking about the fact that the sunset was telling me that we were on the south shore of some body of water. So even though I got matches for places that were near the east coast, I knew that I probably shouldn't be looking there. Anyway, among my results, I got a parks and recreation page in Louisiana, and they had a utility where you could reserve various different facilities at local parks, including a set of gazebos at some place called Lake Town. And it was at that point that I realized that the beach was probably on a lake. Can you tell I don't spend a lot of time on lakes? Like, it did not occur to me at all that that's what I should be looking for. Anyway, that webpage showed me this photo, which looked very much like what I was seeing in the video. And in the background, you can see a transmission tower out in the water, which would confirm what I'm seeing in the video. So I went to check it out, and that was the right place, guys. You were right here, in the parking lot, near Lake Town Fishing Pier in Kenner, Louisiana. Google Street View confirmed the view of that gazebo and that tree that I noticed in your video. Based on what we can see in the video, I believe that you were standing right here next to this lamppost. By the way, this is Lake Pontchartrain, which is the second largest inland body of saltwater in the United States. So I think I can be forgiven for thinking it was an ocean. I bet you guys know what the largest inland body of saltwater is in the US. Let me know in the comments. Guys, check out the map of all the places I found for you so far. And if anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, find me Jose Monkey on camera or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.